Hi guys welcome to my channel before starting subscribe and like the videos it really helps a lot the content from this video are taken from the web novel and manga series of Mushoku Tensei Jobless Reincarnation now please enjoy the video. Part 4 it's early afternoon now. Adventurers are sparse around this time of day. There is no sign of Soldat or the others of Step Leader today. They may already be out on a request. During the winter months there are a considerable amount of subjugation requests. Monsters don't have holidays it seems. Despite being a bear, Rasta Grizzly doesn't seem to hibernate. Taking a glance around, I saw the guys of the A-ranked party Tseller World. They are a mage-centered party. A small four-member party. One is a magic warrior, and the other three are magicians. All of the members are above middle rank in magic, and the leader is advanced rank in fire magic. Yo Quagmire, on a date today. A, she wouldn't stop nagging me until I took her out to play around. Huh, I chatted with Conrad, the leader of Cellar World. He is a 40-year-old veteran, a skilled and bitter man with a fancy moustache. Though he had not participated in the dragon subjugation last time, I do have a good work relationship with him. I have been invited to his party several times. As an attack mage who can also use healing magic, I am valuable even to them. So, finally found the balls to join our party on the long term. PSH, a lone wolf like myself doesn't like crowds. I hate sharing an umbrella with others, you know. So you say, but you went ahead and made a party with that woman. That woman. Hearing that word alone, I turn around and see Elinalize San playfully flirting with the D-rank adventurer named Mallory. Another victim. From a distance, his face is long since colored red, and he is clearly emitting what the Beast Tribe would call the scent of arousal. Mallory is a 16-year-old boy, his class is warrior. We aren't acquainted. Looking at him, I get the feeling he is not experienced in such matters, especially against the seduction ability of Elinalize, and his arousal is greater than his embarrassment. Such things don't bother me Conrad San. Rather, I have a little something I need you to hear me out on. What is it, come to extort money out of me? Didn't you get enough reward from the stray dragon subjugation? A. H. If only we went along as well. I heard it was you that solid it. I'll treat you well next time. Now then, what I need you to hear, Conrad San was a graduate of Ranoa Magic Academy, right? I was until the fifth year when I dropped out. Even if he dropped out, I don't mind it. I asked Conrad about the letter I received. First off about what being a special student meant. Ah, a special student A. Eh? It is, it is. At the magic university, there are other magicians who can use various magics like yourself, and other adventurers who got their name through fame or recommendation from a magic guild, royal families from foreign countries, or even nobles. Proactively searched for, special students are people with great magic power and potential. They aren't obligated to attend classes, and they only have to lend their name to the school as someone who did attend there. Listen, this way when someone from there becomes famous, isn't it like free advertising for how good the academy is? It seems it's like this. In my previous life, I seem to remember something like this. Is it different from a scholarship student? Maybe something like having an honorary membership. At any rate, it doesn't seem to be a complete scam at all. What goes on in a magic guild? They assist with production of things like magic items and scrolls. I'm not enlightened on more than that. For the moment I belong to an F-class guild. Ah, is it true if I just graduate from the academy that I am qualified to join a D-class guild? Graduate her. Huh? The magic guild seems to carry out support for all areas related to magic. As the rank rises, authority increases, and various aids can be received. Even if at best all someone could only use was a beginner grade magic, they can also join. Normal graduates of the magic academies may usually find themselves in an E-class guild. The top of the magic academy is also an executive member of the magic guild, since it's the magic academy that keeps the magic guild running. If I graduated, I can surely become a member of a D-class guild. If a special student submits a thesis, C-class. Of course, even those who are not special students who are also excellent magicians may actually be rewarded with C-class. Incidentally, F-class seems to get next to no support at all. As for magic guild ranks, you can rank up if you complete certain requests from the guild, or if you contribute certain services to the guild. 
Unlike the Adventurers Guild, there isn't a clear path in how you get to the top. Even a skillful ass kisser with an executive connection can manage to rank up. Truth be told, entrance even up to B class can be bought with money. Quagmire, haven't you already gone to school? I had a private tutor. Him, weren't you quite rich though? Just in name, as part of the upper aristocracy of Asura, sorry Quagmire, what was your family name again? Greyrat. I am Rudeus Greyrat. Even though the name Rudeus of the Quagmire is famous, it seems the name of Greyrat is not spread with it. It doesn't matter to me. Even I don't know Conrad's family name. Though I heard it when we introduced ourselves, I've already forgotten it. Greyrat, wasn't that the name of some regional lord in Asura Kingdom? That's amazing, but if that's the case, why are you a solo adventurer out here? That is because, as I started to speak, everything about Eris flooded my mind. Her face, her warmth that night, and the painful loss of her the next day. And then my worthless little man after that, tears were noticeably flowing. Huh. W what? Sorry, I guess you have your own difficulties as to why. I still care about her it seems. Isn't it about time I forgot about her already? I'm sure she's changed a lot already, she's probably already forgotten all about me. There's really no point in me carrying a torch for her anymore. Don't think. Don't feel. But still, if you are being given preferential treatment from them, do you have any good reason not to go? Conrad said it, and I suddenly recalled it. The reason I bothered tutoring Eris in the first place is because it was necessary to earn tuition for the Magic Academy. I was going to take Sylphie with me. That was my first goal. However, I don't feel the need to go there right now. The circumstances now are different from back then. Although, good things might happen if I join the Magic Guild. It's not something that I particularly need to do right now. I'd probably be better off joining Paul. That's right. I'm with Paul on this matter, even he wanted you to attend that school. You are already at a good age, why don't you learn to become independent? When I noticed it, Elena Lies was suddenly next to me. She seems to dislike Paul a great deal. It might not be too late to meet with my whole family once again. I'm told Zenith was safe. Just live your life. You'll surely meet her again. No, the first meeting will likely be a family dissolution. Paul and everyone, wouldn't they come back to Asura? Isn't it more likely they will go to live in Milishan? Milishan is not the place where a man with two wives can live comfortably. In the Millis religion, the premise of one husband one wife is common sense. Certainly, a guy like Paul would find it a little bit difficult. I mean, does Elinalize San really not want to see father that badly? That's right, Elinalize said so unconcernedly while shrugging her shoulders. But even if she doesn't want to meet Paul, she's not going to give up on her plans to get me safely to him. There are times when I just don't know what she's thinking. By the way, Quagmire, what is it? Isn't it about time you introduced me to that Oni Chan of yours? Conrad followed Elena Lies with a lewd pair of eyes. This woman, how is she so popular? Anyways, nothing is lost. Though it's a very tempting offer, I think I'll pass on the Magic Academy right now. That's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want more, and don't forget to like the videos.